Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Sunday. It's sterile here. It's not so bright and freaking early. It's 10 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I just finished up the few things I had to do today. Like I said, it's a Sunday and I really didn't have much on my agenda. I had a little shopping I did very early this morning. Got two or three hours worth of workout in. Uh, I actually did five miles on the treadmill today. So uh, my exercise is all in. And I look out the window and it's kind of dark out there and it's snowing. It was raining earlier, but it's a, it's just about 32 degrees and it's snowing. And it's just one of those mornings where I just feel so thankful. I, I, I'm so thankful. I feel so comfy and cozy where I am right now. Uh, I've got, you know, food. I'm not rich by any means. Uh, I'm probably more towards poverty, if anything. But I think about the 17 plus years I've had clean and sober, and I often wonder where I would be if I hadn't got clean and sober, if I was even still on this earth and, and not in jail. Uh, I, I often wonder where I would be living, what kind of circumstances. Uh, and it's not a pretty thought. It's, you know, it would be nowhere good. And like I said, this, you know, this is just an average apartment. This isn't, I wouldn't even call this, you know, upper middle class. I would barely call this middle class, but I am just so thankful for what I have, you know, what I have now, where, where I would have been if I didn't get clean and sober, you know, and it's just one of those mornings where I just feel so comfy and happy to be here. I have this apartment and it's just an average two bedroom, uh, like four or five room apartment. And I've, I'm all stocked up on food. I, I've got uh, plenty of books to read. I've got movies. Uh, I'm just comfy and cozy. It's just one of those January days. If you live in a cold, cold climate like here in New England, you you know, it's just one of those days where you're just, it's just, you know, all is right with the world. And I'm really happy about this place that I live in. It, it feels like I'm living in a hotel. Uh, it's got, I would say, miles of hallways, and it's got a workout room, a library, uh, a billiards room, and it's just, I could walk out my door, and it's still, it's like a little community, and I, I don't have to leave the building, and it's, I just feel so thankful that I'm here, and that I'm clean and sober, and this is where I've ended up. Um, you know, a lot of people I graduated with have, you know, own their own homes. Some of them have like uh, vacation homes and RVs and three kids and grandkids and two SUVs and, you know, and that's great for them. And I, I, I'm really not envious at all. I, I'm just, a lot of times I almost think I'm more lucky. I, I am I'm more happy because I, I realized what I what I could have lost. You know, where it, this is like a second chance to me. I feel blessed. Every day is like a blessing to me. This this is like when you you know when you're playing a video game and you get an extra man, you get an extra life. This is what it feels like to me. So I figured I'd take you for a little walk around the uh, the building here. I, I'm always amazed by these hallways are just so long. And I, it's it's a pretty much a, a, a locked, you know, the doors are locked. It's a gated community, and it's a safe, it's just a safe, comfortable place to live. In. And once again, I just I, I'm thankful. Yeah, I guess you know, like I said, I'm far from comfortably wealthy or anything like that. But compared to where I could have been, it's great. Let's let's go for a little walk. I got my my comfy shoes on. Uh, here, I'll take you and we'll take a look out the window. This is my comfy bedroom here. See, and it's just snowing out there. Uh, when I saw that, I was like, oh, I'm just, it's just one of those Sundays. Like I said, and I've got everything all taken care of today. So I don't have any more chores or tasks to do today. And I have the whole day to my leisure. I've got some books, some books laying around. So this is actually uh, illustrated. This is a comic book, a fancy comic book. I got some movies. I got tons of movies. I got more movies than I know what to do with. I've literally got, I've got hundreds of movies and comic books and reliving my second childhood. Let's go for a walk around the hallways. I'll show you what I mean by this. It feels like a hotel. Let's go for a walk. Oops, wrong 
key. See, this is the library. If I don't have enough books, th this is just literally steps down the, the hallway from my apartment. Stuff to keep me busy today. Puzzles, and books, and videos. All right, let's, let's move on. This is what I mean. It's like a hotel. If I only had a brain. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 ba. Let's go this way. We got art on the walls. The elevator. This is the second floor. There's four floors. Almost looks like something out of the shining. It would probably take me 45 minutes to walk all four floors. There's just, there's, I think there's literally miles of hallways. And it's all safe and quiet and clean. A rest, the restroom. Beautifully clean. Another elevator. More artwork. You can actually get lost in here. Here, let's go up a floor. See, it's so cold out there. And the snow makes me happy I'm in here. There's a big room with a ping pong table, a billiards room. Here, let's look out the window. I actually live all the way over there. It's all connected. See what I mean by hotel? Okay, let's go. I actually get lost. I honestly, I just forgot where I am. I think there's like 150 apartments here. We have like, we have heated floors, like cement heated floors. So the place is incredibly quiet. You can't hear anything. Like I can't hear any. That was nice. Never saw that before. I'm actually getting lost. This is what I mean by miles of hotel, of hallways. Let's see.
just left here. show you guys the basement, the ping pong room, and the billiards room. serious about our pool here. I really want to show you guys the, the, uh, ping, the ping pong room. I didn't even know that was here. I'm still finding places here. Not even a tenth of this place. I'll show you the ping pong room some other time. I want to get something to eat. So that was your little tour. I'll show you the ping pong. Like it's a big, big basement. And it's got a, a whole like professional ping pong tournament area set up down there. It's, it's a huge, like it's almost like a, like a gymnasium or something down there. I'll show you that some other time. I'm getting myself some food and I'm gonna enjoy a little TV. I'll talk to you guys later. It's just, it's so quiet here. It's quiet all the time, but it's even quieter at three in the morning. It's a little creepy. Not a peep, not a sound. Hey guys, it's the next morning and it's not even 3 a.m. And I thought I would take you down to the creepy basement at this time. We're in the, we're in the, here we are. I'm afraid I can't get out of here now. I'm afraid I'm trapped down here. Oh, thank God it opened. We'll check that somehow. We'll check that out some other time.